Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial brought to you by Sports Templates. Today we're going to be looking at this brand new basketball kit design. And uh, yeah, so you can see, if I zoom in here, you can really see the intense quality of this design. It's 8K quality and uh, we've also used this new embossed effect which looks really nice and it's something that hasn't featured on our previous uh, template. So let me show you how to use this template. Uh, when we open up the template, this is what we're going to get. Um, so yes, uh, this is the, the placeholder design, it's the obviously we've got all the placeholder logos which will help us with sizings and we can also just edit these numbers using our type tool really easily. And um, so I'm using a downscaled version of this template for this tutorial uh, just so I can record and actually edit the tutorial smoothly. Uh, because the recording actually takes up a lot of processing power. So if I am wanting to show you some minor details in the in the quality, I will have to show you this preview and uh, just so I can really um, give you a good idea of how intense this uh, this tutorial uh, how intense this template is in uh, in regards to its quality. So um let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on each individual clothing at a time. So first we're going to start on the jersey. So we're going to open up the jersey layer. But the first thing I need to know on the jersey is that we have this editable collar. So we're going to go to the extra collars folder as well. We're going to open that up. And uh, we have three different collar designs. So we have this round collar as you can see here. Uh, if I was to hide that you can see that it's got this pointed bottom of the collar. And then we've also got this wishbone collar. So uh, you can see that we've got many different options for this template, lots of presets already in here for you, uh, really easy and uh, able and really easy to edit as well. Okay, so we're going to be using this round collar. If we wanted to edit the collar, we would go to we would open up the the, co the collar folder. We can change the color of the of the collar by going to the collar um, layer right there, double clicking on it. And uh, we can also change it like this. So we change it to a gray. And then we would just hide this front layer. So that's how, if we wanted to make it a solid color, that's exactly how you do it. But if you wanted to change the colors of the stripes that are currently there, just go to the front layer, double click on the thumbnail for it, and then it'll open up a new document. Just like that. Okay, and again we have multiple presets here for you. So we have the first design and we also have the second design. So the second design only has two stripes whereas the first only has uh, has four stripes. So if we wanted to use the second design, uh, open it up, we can change the color of each line. So if we want to change the color of the green, I could double, uh, double click on it and maybe change it to a red. And there we go, or a nice maroon color, that might look good. Okay, press OK there. Now we can just oh now all we need to do is press Command S on our keyboard and that will save the layer. And now that if we go back to our original template, you can see that it has changed and it looks cool and it's very very easy to use. So um, but for this we are recreating the calves kit. Um, so we are going to put it back to the the first design just like that. Press Command S. And there we go, once it is saved, we will be able to see that it's back to the way it was. And that's exactly how we want our collar for this kit design. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the actual jersey itself. We can change the, the jersey color by opening up the jersey folder, then going to jersey main color, double clicking on the, on the layer thumbnail, then using our color, well, we can now select our color and it will change to any color that we like. And uh, so yeah, it's very easy to use and you can see that it updates across all three of the kits, which is very easy and uh, simple to use. We can also edit the sides of the jersey. So we can we can show this layer, sh uh, shirt sides, and you can see that it is now updated with these shirt sides. And uh, if we wanted to change the color, all we need to do is double click on the, the thumbnail and then we can change it to any color that we like, much like the jersey color uh, overall as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, we now need to change the where it says logo, the number 23, and also add our logos uh, as well. So now that we've got this new embossed effect, we have now made our own new folder for it, just to make it a lot easier to use. So if we wanted to change the front, we would go to the embossed jersey design folder, open up the front, just like that, scroll down until you see add jersey design, double click on that layer, and wait for it to open up. There we go. Now we can just add our design. So I'm going to add the Cavaliers text across the top. 
Uh, let me just wait for this folder to load just so I know what I'm importing. Uh, okay, let's just click, drag this in. And now we want to make sure that it lines up with the placeholder text that's already there. Okay, that's good. Click on the tick at the top. Now we can hide that placeholder logo. That's right there. And now we can also change the number just by pressing T on our keyboard and um, changing the text. And uh, now we're going to add our Adidas logo, as that is the kit sponsor. So just click, drag it in just like that. Resize it so it makes sure that it's the same size as the, pl as the placeholder logo. Just like that, there we go, it's all good. Now we can hide the placeholder logo that's originally there. Double click on our Adidas logo to bring up the layer style because we want to make it the orange color uh, to match the rest. So we're gonna go to the color overlay, change the color to this orange, press OK. There we go, all done. Now we're also going to add the NBA logo. So let me just click import it real quick. There we go. Make sure it's the same size as the Adidas logo because we want it all to match. Consistency is very important with kit designs. And uh, so yes, this, this template will help you keep stay consistent with all the, uh, the, the placeholder logos as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, all we need to do is press Command S, just like before. And now once that's finished saving, we can go back and now we can see that it has actually fine, it is updated and uh, it's carried across the embossed effect. So if I was to show you on here, I'll zoom in real quick on how clean this effect looks. There we go. You can see it's got its own texture to different. Oh, <laughs> it's got its own texture to differentiate itself from the jersey itself, and you can see it also carries on to the map to the minor logos, uh, just like that. And it looks really, really nice. Okay, so now that we've done that, we we've also got this other design effect on the jersey itself. So this would probably be used for low budget jerseys. Uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to go to the jersey folder right there. We're going to go to the front design. Double click on it to open it. We're going to hide these because we don't want these showing as we've already got it on the embossed effect. And uh, I'm just going to import the C of the Cavs logo. Make it really big, maybe angle it a bit like that. Press Command S to save it. And once this updates, you'll be able to see this C uh, being printed on the jersey itself. Uh, let's just show the layer right there. And there you go, you can see it there. We've added this effect just so um, if you were designing a college jersey or a organization that perhaps didn't have a bigger budget, you can still use that threaded effect instead of having the embossed effect. And it just looks really nice on, um, on regular jerseys as well. So we're gonna hide that for now. To edit the back of the jersey, you just need to open this embossed jersey design folder, open up the back embossed, then scroll down to where it says add jersey design. And uh, this is the, the smart object that we're gonna be using to edit the back. Double click on it to open it, there we go. And uh, we're not going to be changing the text just because we are designing this kit uh, for LeBron. And um, so the, uh, it's fine the way it is, but we are going to be adding the Adidas logo. So let's just click, drag that in real quick. Okay, all good. Now we're gonna resize it to, and make sure it's in the exact same place that this placeholder logo is. So let's just resize it all just like that. Move it down a little, okay. But now we need to make sure that it matches the rest of the kit. So we're gonna change the color. So we're gonna double click on the Adidas logo to bring up the layer style. Go to color overlay, and this is the color that we're going to be using. So now we can press Command S, let it save, let it update. And then when we go back across, you can now see that we've added our Adidas logo to the top of the jersey. And now we're going to move on to the sleeves. Oh, we also need to change the, uh, the inside of the collar. As you can see at the top there, I mean inside the jersey, that it's still orange. So we need to make sure that it's consistent and that it matches. So to do that, we need to go to our extra collars layer. We're gonna go to the uh, the inner layer on the on our collar. Uh, we're gonna double click on it to change the color and we're gonna change it to the same blue as the jersey. And there we go. Now you can see that it is all blue and it's all the way that we want it. Okay, so now we're going to change the color of this arm sleeve. We can completely remove the arm sleeve if we like, just by uh, hiding the layer just like that. There you go. And now I'm gonna show it again, open the folder, and now we have all these different effects that we can use to change uh, change the design. So we can change the color just by going to arm base, uh, arm base color, double clicking on it, and now we can change it to any color that we'd like. This is the inside of the, co uh, of the collar, I mean not the collar, of the arm sleeve. You can see that it's now changing to the, the green, so we're gonna make that the blue. And now we're going to change the uh, 
the, the front design just by opening up that layer and uh, we also need to just copy across this color because we want to make the arm sleeve the same color as the blue shirt so we're going to double click on this layer copy across the, the blue there we go just like that and now we can import any design we like so I'm going to import this C uh, just to show you how it looks okay now we've done that press command S and um, now you can see that we have imported our logo design on the arm sleeve but of course you will need to do it for the back design as well um, just because it would make sense for the for the front to look exactly the same as the back so you would need to update this separately okay let's just change the color press command s and uh, we're also going to close all of these just because we don't want too much clutter up here uh, so let's get rid of these okay now you can see that the arm sleeve is fully updated across all three of the designs but for now we're going to hide it and we're going to move on to the shorts so uh, we're going to go to our shorts layer right down here and with the shorts there's so many things that we can use to customize uh, this design so you can see that we already have these three stripes along the side which is which we are actually going to remove but first we're going to change the color of the shorts so we're going to go to our uh, shorts layer right here double click on it change it to the blue that we want there we go just like that and now we're going to edit each um, each leg individually as each leg has its own layer just so you can add these details um, like the 23 and the logo to each side so we're going to go to the um, first we're going to go to the shorts uh, the shorts right and it's also the front so we're going to open it up just like that and now you can see that we have multiple presets here just like we have previously so we have these these uh, three lines here on the side we also have this one stripe along the side here these colors can be changed by double clicking on the thumbnail and just changing it just like that and um, we're also going to have this bottom line which is uh, what we have on the shirt so we need to keep it consistent so we're going to keep these uh, these bottom stripes here and we also have the option to add our own logo so we're going to add the calves logo not that one uh, this one right here okay just like that okay that's good hide the placeholder logo and now we can actually press command s to save it and now you can see that it has updated for this leg but you may also notice that it's a bit hard to notice that the c is there just because of the two um the blue the dark blue with the uh with the uh, the dark maroon color so we're going to actually add a stroke to this so we're going to copy across our yellow color just like that we're going to go to the the layer style of our of our calf logo go to the um the stroke which is right there and then we're going to keep it at a three i think that's good enough uh press save or okay now press command s go back across and then you can see that calves logo is so much easier to see and it looks really really nice so now we need to go and edit the other leg so we're going to go to the short left front open up the the smart layer just like that uh, hide the presets that we don't want uh, show the bottom layer uh, the bottom line now we can just press command s to save it and there you go you can see that it's fully updated and uh, the shorts look really nice but well, I, th I think we're also going to move this number across a little bit just like that and there we go that looks really good okay so now that we've edited the front view and the three-quarter view we just now need to edit the back view so we're going to go to the, the the left side back there we go all we need to do for this is show the bottom line press command s because we don't actually have any design features on the back so um now we just need to do the the same for the other side just like that okay it's all good now we go now we have fully customized our shorts and so again we're going to remove these documents just so we don't get confused okay so now we have done the shorts and we have done the jersey now we're going to move on to the socks and the shoes and um, okay so let me quickly show you the the detail of the uh, of the shorts quickly so you can really see here the fine details you can actually see the texture if you zoom in far enough and uh, yeah so it looks really nice you can see how the lighting is all re very realistic and uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna carry on and we're gonna move on to the socks so we're gonna hide this layer just like that and uh, we're gonna go to the socks layer or the folder sorry okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to 
change the color of the socks. So we're gonna to go to the socks layer right here, double click on it, and we're gonna make it the same color as the yellow, just like that. Now you can see it's updated across all of the designs. Okay, now we're going to actually add our own design to the socks themselves. So we're gonna to go to the front left, and then we're gonna add the Adidas logo, just like this. Make sure it's the same size as, uh, as the placeholder logo. Okay, that's good. Hide the placeholder logo. Now we need to make sure that this isn't a black logo because we want to try and get the most out of this template. And to do that, you don't really want to be using full whites and full blacks. So, we, so we're going to be using offsets. So you want to kind of make it a light gray, um, just like that, that'll be perfect. Press OK, press Command S. And there you can see that we, it has updated across the front view and again, the three quarter view. And now we just need to do it to the back. So we're going to go to the, the back left, double click on it to open it, and we're going to click, drag in our logo again, make sure it's the right size, hide the placeholder logo, and now we're going to add our own color overlay to make sure it's the light gray again as well. Now we're going to press Command S to save it, and there you go, you can see that we have fully up, uh, updated our own socks, and it matches the rest of the design. Now finally, we are going to work on the shoes. So let's zoom in a little bit there. Okay, we're gonna find our shoes layer. And um, so we have five main parts of the shoe that we can edit. So we have the main body, which is of course the, um, the yellow parts. So we're gonna double click on it to open it. Okay, and we can change the color just like this. Uh, we can change it to any color we like, just like before. But uh, I think for this, we're actually gonna keep it yellow just to make it match the socks and the rest of the kit. We're gonna go to the shoe alternate color we're gonna make this a blue. So you can see that this that's the extra padding around the side, press okay. We can change the sole, which is under the shoe. And we can change the laces to make it match the, the alternate color, to make it blue, just like that. And uh, we can even edit the metal parts on the lacing, so uh, we can change that as well. We may as well make it the same blue. Okay guys, so that is how you do this, uh, how, that's how you use this kit um, template. You can see it is probably the highest quality template on the market, easiest to use. Um, you can see how quickly I've edited this template and it took no time at all. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoy this using this template and be sure to check out our other templates as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.